Hi, good morning, my algebra students. Me, Salor here, and welcome to our class. We're going to learn all about real number system. Make sure you have your math notebook with you and your iPad and pen or pencil. I'll start sharing my screen. All right, so, okay, real number system is our first topic in Algebra 1. I would like you to be familiarized with numbers are you solving and um, through this um, diagram that you're going to see, you will uh, you can identify the different kinds of um, numbers in, that we are going to use here in out in this course. All right, so I would like you to jot down notes here for with me. So the first number we have is natural numbers, or we call this also as counting numbers. Okay, when you were like first grade or I know started learning numbers, right? Your parents or your kindergarten teacher or daycare teacher, preschool teacher ask you to start counting, starting one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on, right? And whenever you have counting numbers, we are only dealing with positive numbers. So that's now the counting numbers, okay? After counting numbers or natural numbers, you move to what? First grade or second grade and you learn all about, oh, there's an empty basket. That represents zero, okay? And that zero represents whole numbers, including all the counting or natural numbers. So make sure that whenever you include zero, you remember the word whole numbers, okay? So that's now the <clears throat> difference between natural and whole numbers. So all natural numbers are whole numbers, but some whole numbers are not natural numbers, right? Okay, after whole numbers, we have the integers. And I think the best keyword for this is includes all whole numbers and their opposites. So we are now including the negative numbers, right? So the best examples are negative 10, negative 8, negative 4, 0, 2, 6, and, you know, the opposite numbers in the number line. So that's the integers. Next is rational numbers. Includes all integers plus repeating decimals, terminating decimals and fractions including the positive and the negative okay that's the uh, rational numbers on the other hand we have the irrational numbers by the way um uh, we will discuss later the another concept so next is irrational numbers numbers that cannot be expressed as fractions okay this one um, can be expressed into fraction, the rational, but the irrational numbers is cannot be expressed into fractions. It has terminating decimals or repeating, cannot be as fractions, terminating decimals or repeating decimals, okay? Pi, square root of 5, square root of negative 3, or also non-perfect square, okay? Non-perfect square. Okay, non-perfect square. And I will discuss that later. Okay, what was the meaning of non-perfect square, right? Examples are, right, square root of 5, like square root of what? Um, 6, square root of um, 7. That will give you um, different, uh, that will give you non-repeating and non-terminating um, non decimals. I'll show you an example. So the best example I'll show you is negative five, I mean square root of five. So you can see that it's a non-terminating decimals and no pattern. So that's called as an irrational number or it can be identified as an irrational number. All right, so the whole, this rational and irrational numbers is under the real number system, okay? So real number system, so real numbers, and a real number is a value that represents a quantity, okay? And now you learn that different numbers has different, um, you know, identification or specific, you know, category whenever you see it, okay? So please make sure you pause this video and copy these notes. Uh, we'll copy it and snip it on your math notebook, okay? Copy and you have your math notebook. I did this as practice, so all right. Okay, let me erase this one. All right, 
<clears throat> okay, so make sure you have a um, copy in your notes for that. Okay, next is... All right, so I would like to use this analogy or diagram so that you understand what's the meaning of natural, what's the relationship for each one of those categories. So Roosevelt District is the counting numbers, right? Or natural numbers. Counting or natural. Right? Then Roosevelt is under what? Whole numbers. I mean, or the Phoenix, right? But that's the whole numbers. Right, whole numbers. So some Phoenix school district is not Roosevelt, right? But Roosevelt is under, you know, Phoenix, right? Then whole number of Phoenix is under Arizona, right? And that's the integers. Okay, so I hope I am making sense here. Some cities in Arizona are not physic are not Phoenix. But Phoenix is under Arizona. So you can see now the negative and the positive, right? Um, or the opposites. Then the counting, the whole, and the integers is in the United States. That's the rational numbers. Okay. And the other country is the irrational number or Japan. Okay. Irrational number. And Rational and irrational is under the real number system or the earth. So that's now the real numbers. So I hope it makes sense. Okay. So that's now. Okay. Please copy this in your math notebook. And, you know, a snippet. You. And copy this. Oops. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Post. Oops. All right. Okay, next, clear this one. Okay, what's the meaning of rational numbers? Rational numbers are can are numbers that can be written in the form of A or B or fraction, right? And B are both integers and integers. Where, where A and B are both integers and B is not zero, okay? The fractions can be also written as decimals. The decimal must end or repeat. So the, these are the examples of rational numbers. So negative 4, 12, 2 over 3, 6.534, and 1.2. Repeating decimals, okay? So um, I would like you to make sure to copy this. No, let me take you here, snip it. Copy. Um, math notebook. All right, <clears throat> next is, let's go back here. Okay, let's, next is what? What's the meaning of irrational numbers? Okay, irrational numbers can be written as fractions. They also can have an endless number of digits after a decimal point that do not repeat. So 2 over 0, 1 point, and there's no pattern, okay? And pi, and also we call that non- Repeating that, um, not, not repeating, non-perfect square. Non-perfect square. Okay, example. Okay. Okay, square root of 5, square root of 7, what else? Square root of um, 8, 
square root of 10, right? So what is what is the opposite of non-perfect square? So perfect square is when you use the square root, when you solve the square root, it will give you a negative or positive, positive integer. So example, um, 9 square root of 3, right? Negative 16. So the answer is negative what? 4, right? So, I mean, I guess if there is more complicated, but I just want to make sure that you're understanding the perfect square and non-perfect square, okay? Is this clear? All right. So new. Copy this in your math notebook. Okay, make sure you pause and copy it. Okay, next. Um, let's now solve or identify the different real numbers, right? So, okay, negative 2 over f square root of negative 2 fifth. Use your decimals calculator. Where you're going to find that is on your website of Ms. Delore, right? Home. Okay. Click the Algebra 1 notebook and click the Desmos calculator. Okay. So square root of 2 divided by 5 is, as you can see, is, you know, non-repeating, non-terminating, and it has no pattern. So therefore, automatically, that is an irrational number. All right, so we will cross this out. So neg um, square root of 2 over 5 is irrational number. Negative 9 over 3, right? Negative 9 over 3 is equivalent to what? Negative 3. So that is an integer. So negative 9 over 3 is equivalent to negative 3. And that's what you call irrational, I mean, what you call an integer. You need to make sure that the fraction cannot be simplified. And that's when you will make sure you put that in the correct label. All right, 8 is, of course, it is a natural number. Square root of 36 is a perfect square. So solve it if you don't know. Square root of 36 is 6, right? So that's a counting numbers. So square root of 36. Is equivalent to 6, so that's now in natural numbers for counting numbers. Negative 4 is obviously an integer. 16 over 4, what do you think? If what's the answer for that? 16 divided by 4 is 4, so that's a counting number, right? So 16 over 4. Square root of 2, what do you think for that? Clear, square root of 2 is non-terminating and non-repeating uh, decimal, so that is now an irrational number. 12 is natural or counting numbers. Square negative square root 5, so let's go clear that. Negative square root 5 is negative 2 point, so non-repeating, non-terminating um, decimals and no pattern, definitely irrational number negative five zero is whole number which is crazy one half is a fraction so rational the the famous pi the symbol right is irrational 0 0.25 it um i'm sorry i put one half in, in integer so my bad so that should be on the rational and Decimal that ends or terminating is a rational, and 0 0.3 is repeating decimal, and therefore it is rational. All right, so make sure you have this everything and copy this in your math notebook. And let's put that in your math notebook. Okay. All right. Okay. So pause this no um video so that you can copy um all of these notes that you need to remember and jot down. Okay. Next. Okay. We're going to solve this one. What do you think? So direction. Identify each number as rational or irrational. 
Each rational number should have blue border like the first one shown. The irrational number should have an orange border. Copy the colored border and paste it on the other numbers. Okay, so let's just not do the second um, the second um, direction. I'll just I'll tell you R for what? Rational. Right? And uh, the IRR is called irrational. Okay. So 61. Okay, correct. Rational. 4.3256. What's that? Okay, irrational. 4 fifth is um, rational. Negative 3 is what? An integer, so rational. 2 times pi. Whenever you do it, it's still an irrational, you multiply, that's irrational, no matter what. Okay, square root of 17 is non perfect square. So if you don't know, so square root of 17, you're, the answer is this one, right? So therefore, it is irrational, non perfect square. Okay, 2 and 1 fourth is a mixed number, so it is rational. Negative 42 is an integer, so that's rational. Negative 101, or square, square root of 101, so decimals, clear square root of 101. Again, mm, there's no dot. What do you think? Still not, this is not perfect square. So I will still suggest that it's still a uh, irrational, okay? So 3.45, it stops, so it's irrational. So this is like repeating decimals, so therefore it's rational. <clears throat> so this one is non-terminating, but it has a pattern. So therefore it is just rational. Square root of 25 is... If you don't know, square root of 25 is 5, so therefore it is rational. 4 over 0, because of the denominator is 0, it is irrational. And 0 is a whole number, therefore it is rational. All right, I hope you um, learned something on this lesson. Make sure you copy this, and we will make sure to have more practice all about this concept. Okay? And Matt Notebook. All right. So after copying notes, make sure you take your time. And you will do um, two quizzes activity after this video. All right. Make sure to check the website. All right. See you again to the next video that I'll create for you. Bye.